The Lewis structure of ammonium chloride NH4Cl is a challenge. Even though they are all non-metals, NH4 with a positive one charge is an ammonium ion. And chloride Cl with a minus one charge is also an ion. So we're going to have an ionic Lewis structure. And inside of the square brackets that we put Lewis structure ions inside of, we're going to have covalent bonds. The Lewis structure for NH4 plus has a nitrogen in the center and four hydrogens around it. One, two, three, four. Now, to complete that Lewis structure, which, by the way, is covalently bonded within itself because it's a non-metal bonding to another non-metal, you need to count the number of valence electrons that each of these atoms brings. Nitrogen brings five electrons each, and hydrogen brings one electron each. So this brings five, and you have four of these hydrogens which bring one each. That's nine valence electrons. But this positive one charge means you have lost one electron as well. Five plus four ones, take one away for the positive charge, leaves you with eight valence electrons in this structure total. That's just enough to single bond the N to each of the H's. That's all eight, all eight of the valence electrons in that ion. Now, because it has a charge of plus one, we're gonna write a plus one charge here. And now we have to do the same thing for chloride. Now there are no bonds here because there's only one atom. Chlorine brings seven valence electrons with it. But with a minus one charge, that means you have one extra. That means that chlorine has eight valence electrons. So I want you to draw a chlorine atom with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight valence electrons. That is a minus one charge because that's the charge on the chloride ion. This is your completed Lewis structure. But I want to make a point. These here between nitrogen and each of the hydrogens are covalent bonds. These occur by a shearing of electrons. The electrostatic attraction that holds the plus charged ammonium to the negatively charged chlorine happens to be an ionic bond. So this is the rare Lewis structure that includes both covalent and ionic bonds. That's why I said it was a challenge at the beginning. But don't worry, you handled it with my help. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.